Hi guys, I'm Mary the Sunday Beatles girl and unfortunately I couldn't do my uh, vlog last Sunday because my internet was not working, but now I can. Okay, so um, I guess a wom the woman that I most admire from the 1960s who's famous is has to be Patty Boyd. Um, I remember when I was first getting like, you know, really, really into the Beatles and early on I found out that, well I didn't find out, I kind of figured it, but that I figured that when you picked a favorite Beatle, you also needed to pick a favorite Beatle wife. It's kind of, I guess, in the code of all Beatle obsessies. That's us, guys. <sighs> um, so anywho, um, I guess Linda was the original favorite, and she still is. But then I got more into Patty Boyd, and now Linda and Patty are kind of tied. Um, so I read... Patty's um, autobiography, and I really loved it. I'm going to go read it a third time after my mom reads it. Um, and she's really nice and sweet and kind and caring, and she's really supportive and you know, just, like, all the good things that someone can be. And she came from a really bad, like, life. Or, sorry, I have popcorn in my teeth. <laughs> um, like, they were very um, wealthy and everything, but, you know, she just... She, her, her stepdad was uh like basically tortured the kids and turned them against each other and just like messed up their lives um so uh i guess like i think that she's like a really cool person like honestly i think that she's great like i want to be a model like because of how the 60s are really in clothing wise right now and like makeup wise and everything um so she's like my inspiration for that like i want to look like her the way i found out about it like um back when i was still kind of new on all things beatles so i posted a picture and someone was like oh you kind of look like patty boyd i was like um i really seen a picture of her and so yes i got the popcorn out of my teeth anyway so anyway mm. I looked up a picture of her and I was like, oh my god, I don't look anything like you, but my god, you're gorgeous. So I was like, oh, I look like her. So I looked up like everything I could on Patty Boyd and I found her old makeup ideas from the 60s and I use them now, hence Twiggy makeup, but it's kind of faded now. But um, so yeah, so I like based my whole style off of Patty Boyd. Um, and I think it's funny because I think that she had a great sense of style, but she's not credited as one of, you know, like, the style queens of the 60s. Or at least when she is, it's not really, like, they just, like, mention one thing about what she wore, like, I don't know, like, the bread that she wore in the interview about she and George getting married. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah. So, um, I think that people should, like, here. No, I think I already said something like that. Um, my Facebook's running slow, but I'm gonna see, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get to that, but, um, so, I, like, uh, I don't really know where to go with the rest of this, but anyway, I think Patty Boyd is amazing, I, um, I really admire her for her life, and, like, not her life, but, um, how she got through her life, I, um, really admire how she is still strong, how she still talks fondly of George and sometimes of Eric Clapton. I'm really, I think that's really nice. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be able to speak to, uh, maybe to George, but not to Eric Clapton. I wouldn't be able to say a thing about him without, like, being, like, throwing chairs against walls and being like, ah. Um, yeah, exactly. Just that face. Ah. And, um, so, mm, so much popcorn in my teeth. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, that's basically my who I admire thing for this week. Um, and I figured since I was talking about Patty, I, I, I'd play a George song on guitar. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna be playing Long, Long, Long. Uh, it's on the White Album. Uh, you know, 1968. Good song. Written. Words and music are both by George. Okay.
house, so obviously I have lived on the end of it because my parents are in the house, and I think it, they'd be kind of worried if all of a sudden they start going, ah, ah, like, you know, rattling a wine thing against the table. So, um, I guess that'll do it. Um, I think I kind of missed what Patty's, like, especially important to me. Um, um, my mom was a model, um, it only took one picture for her to get in because she practically looks like a blonde Brooke Shields. Um, look up Brooke Shields from Blue Lagoon. That's my mom when she was 15, I swear to God. Um, she got into Ford, biggest agency in the world, best agency in the world. And um, I, I've always kind of wanted to be a model because of that. But like not for like reasons of, oh, I want to look pretty. I'm going to twirl my hair and I'm going to look pretty. I'm going to look pretty all day. All day. I'm going to look pretty. It's like, no. Not like that. I want to, like, I like trying on clothes and stuff like that. And I like, you know, experimenting with makeup. That's why. And I like it when people play with my hair. Like, everyone likes that. And you don't want to lie. So, um, like, we've sent pictures into agencies, but it's only been two agencies. Uh, actually, no, three. Three agencies so far. And I haven't gotten anything back from any of them. But, you know, the thing that Patty says is, seriously, don't worry about it. She sent hers into like 10 agencies. She's like, and look how I turned out. I was one of the biggest models of the 60s. Like, you can't just, um, like go to three and then say, oh, they think I'm ugly, my life's over, you know? That's their opinion. And who, who knows what anyone else is going to say about you because everyone is beautiful. Everyone can be a model. It doesn't matter what shape your nose is, how big your eyes are. If you're, oh, let me see, you're... <laughs> Like this, my my eyebrows are arched, but I don't think that has to do with anything. Your eyebrows are perfectly arched. If you have a nice widow's peak or no widow's peak like I have, you know, it doesn't really matter at all. Anyone can be a model. Everyone's gorgeous. The human race is a gorgeous. They're, we're all just gorgeous. Okay, that's it. I hate the word ugly. I hate it when people call other people ugly. Because really, it's like, okay, well, you're going to go call someone that... You're going to go call someone ugly. What's going to happen when someone turns around and calls you ugly? You're going to sit there and cry? Well, you can't really cry because you've used that word before. It's it's a really derogatory word, and I hate it because I think everyone's beautiful. There's no such thing as that girl's pr only pretty with makeup. Without it, she looks awful. What makeup is, and my mom picked this up from the Ford models, makeup enhances your looks. So if you look pretty with makeup, you're gonna look pretty without it. And I think a lot of girls need to realize that you don't need to starve yourself to make it look like you're like Twiggy who was 98 pounds. I mean, Twiggy ate like a horse, but that was just her metabolism. That has nothing to do with her starving herself. But you can't eat like blah, 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 blah. You know, stuff like that. Just stay healthy, stay beautiful as everyone is. You know, peace and love, peace and love, as Ringo says. Ooh, peace and love, peace and love. Um, this video is kind of getting long. I feel like you guys would have lost interest by this point. Um, so I guess that's my main point. Like, Patty's a very inspirational person. She tells everyone that they're beautiful. And I agree with that. Everyone should know that they are beautiful. I mean, zits, who cares? Look, at I, I got zits. Uh, wrong side of my face. I got zits right there. Right there and right there. Break around here and in our chin, you know, stuff like that. Everyone gets them. So when you break out, it's like, oh god, I got a zit. Oh, I bet models don't have this. They always look perfect. Pictures of models are airbrushed within an inch of their lives. I mean, for Christ's sake, you really. Some people really think that their skin is flawless and sparkly, like Edward Cullen, and they just get no zits. You know what they do? They put toothpaste on them. Goddamn toothpaste. Sorry. <laughs> Goddamn toothpaste, yeah. So I guess that's pretty much the end of my video. Okay, Beatles are amazing. I love them all. John's my favorite. Peace and love to everybody. Jello shots all around, as Danny Harrison once said. Bye, guys.